ignite Olympic spirit wherever it goes and stir up excitement for the upcoming Beijing Summer Games. But so far, the Olympic torch has been stirring up plenty of trouble instead on its world tour. And today in Paris, a new level of chaos broke out as protesters targeted the torch with such force that the traveling roadshow was called off in mid-run. David Common was there. Though launched with great fanfare from the deck of the Eiffel Tower with a kiss from a French Olympian, this relay seemed doomed from the start. Just meters into its run, a man leapt at the torch. Protesters hurled insults, and the huge security force swung into action, making it all but impossible to see the torch itself. Not to be deterred, the demonstrators then blockaded roads, jumped barricades, and at times overwhelmed the 3,000 officers and soldiers guarding the route. Some police began to lose it. After all this, the Chinese escorts simply turned off the torch, transferred it to a bus, and began looking for a new route. The protesters, though, would not relent, insisting this is a golden opportunity to embarrass China over its human rights record in Tibet. We must do something to tell the Chinese to free the Tibetans. They said that uh, Olympics will give a chance uh, for peace to rise in Tibet and in China, but for the moment we don't see anything, any change, and it's even worse. French police made dozens of arrests in a security operation that was supposed to avoid a repeat of what happened yesterday. In London, the relay was chaotic, harried by protesters at every turn. One man tried to douse the torch with a fire extinguisher. Another even got his hands on it for a split second. Even with a security detail worthy of a visiting U.S. president, the police were left running. And in a symbolic defeat, the Olympic torch was extinguished four times, then relit from a carefully guarded lantern. But it's not just protesters out on the streets of Paris. There are many Chinese celebrating the arrival of the torch in France's capital city. When those two sides have got together, there has been tension and sporadic incidents of violence. When pro-Tibet protesters tore the Chinese flag, riot police dove in to separate the two groups. Tibet is not the issue, said this pro-China woman. We're here to welcome the flame. We shouldn't mix the two issues. Even Paris's mayor hung a sign from City Hall insisting the city stands for human rights. A not-so-subtle message. And it was here where officials decided the day was over. With a third of the route still to go, the torch was rushed away. Another setback for the Olympic spirit. David Common, CBC News, Paris. Meanwhile, in Beijing today, top Olympic officials gathered to discuss the upcoming Games. And walking a fine line was the president of the International Olympic Committee. Jacques Roga said he's concerned both with the situation in Tibet and also with the violence that's been dogging the torch relay. China then took to the podium to lash out at protest groups, saying a handful of them are trying to sabotage the relay with disgusting actions. Well, next up on the Torch's marathon tour is the only stop in North America, San Francisco. A 10-kilometer run is all set to go for Wednesday, but already the demonstrators are busy rolling out their message. Joining us now from San Francisco is the CBC's Chris Brown. Chris. Peter, as the Olympic torch circles the globe, a world landmark like the Golden Gate Bridge is an obvious target for protesters, and today they struck even before the torch arrived. Three members of the group, Students for a Free Tibet, climbed up the cables and wore hard hats. They draped two banners saying, One World, One Dream, Free Tibet. They climbed down on their own after a couple of hours and were arrested by the police. This is a tense time for police and city staff. The opposition to the Chinese government is very well organized. There are marches and protests planned here all week. Even another torch run through the streets called the Tibet Freedom Torch. At the same time, many in the city's large Chinese community are furious with the protesters. They say they're upstaging what should be a celebration of cultural ties with China. And indeed, many business groups here have organized their own pro-China rallies. The exact route of this torch was kept secret uh, right up until the very end, and many changes were made. But now all of the details are out, rather, and people are preparing for a tense few days. Peter. All right, Chris, thanks very much. Chris Brown reporting to us tonight from San Francisco.